Hi everybody and welcome back to Rowan Town. My name is Chris and we're doing a little bit more work on the track weathering. You may be able to see I've started doing some of the paintwork. I've been using some of the Rail Match dark rust colour and I'm just basically brushing it over. I've started on this side because that's on the far side of my layout and it's a little bit difficult to get to and now I'm going to be working from this direction looking along. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what I should be doing around by the blades. I have painted them, they're all electrofrog. This is a double slip which is converted, so I may have to take some thinners to it and work on the areas where the blades contact. However, I'm hoping I won't need to do that, but I am going to try to paint some of it because obviously at the moment it does tend to look a little bit too shiny on the edges of those blades. One thing I want to do just before I start doing some more of the painting is I want to show you some of the downfalls again of Ballast Magic. Now I wasn't particularly good at probably removing the powder but you can see just here where it's a bit shiny, a bit bumpy on those sleepers, that is the aftermath of the Ballast Magic being laid on them. So it's okay but it's not great. I just want to show you one other place. One other thing I just wanted to show you as well with the ballast magic is where the powder sort of lays and you're not sure if there's any ballast underneath it, you end up with spots of bareness like this. Now I've had to order a few more pieces of ballast from Natural Scenic to match these areas, but I'm hoping that you will see here that when you're on this side of the track, it's very difficult to see that there's actually any problem. So I've had to go off an order and I'm gonna have to place it back down. I'm gonna use a bit of the old watered down PVA or Copy decks, not sure which one, but either will do. Depends what I've got left in those jars, to be honest. So let's crack on with a little bit more of the painting. I'll show you what I'm doing briefly, but I'm not gonna bore you with it. One other thing I've picked up is a few of these AWS ramps. I picked these up from Suze Miniatures, Scale 3D and Suze Paints and Miniatures. Uh, they're 3D printed. I just want to put a coat of gray primer on them first, and then I believe one end will be painted yellow. Once I've done that, I can put them onto the track that you've just seen that I've uh, started to weather up on the rails. Let's go ahead and add some primer to it. I don't use the detail. I was going to do airbrushing, but I've got a feeling my airbrush maybe needs some maintenance on it, a bit of work being done to it beforehand, just so that I can get it to work. So I thought the quickest and safest option would be just to manually put a bit of primer on, then I can put a bit of a darker grey on. The reason to add these now is obviously I want to do a bit of spraying on the track in a bit as well so that I can give it that kind of good weathered look. So obviously I've got, a, I've got two ramps here of both way, both ends. So I'm just going to leave these to dry now. Hopefully they dry fairly quickly and I could put a second coat over. I've rubbed down some of the surfaces as you can see but I've got a couple of minor problems, which is I think the paint has seeped onto some of the blades of this double slip. The normal points, not too worried about because they're um, electrofrogs, so the actual blades have got power to them anyway. So if they had been painted over, it wouldn't really make much of a difference. 
which is might mean the blades don't actually connect. So I'm going to try to use some thinner and some cotton buds and just see if I can wash away some of that problematic paint that I've got there. So I'm just testing it now backwards and forwards. So I'm just putting my voltmeter on, which is out of shot, but I'm getting my 16 volts here. Obviously not getting anything because it's not touching here. I'm gonna swap it over. I'm gonna check again. So I'm getting my 15, 16 volts there. I wanna check this one and I'm getting it again here. So I think there could have been a small amount of debris or I have cleaned it off just enough to make those blades work as anticipated. So I'm just gonna check the other blades here. So I'm gonna check this one here. This one should be live. That's giving me my 16 volts as well. So they're all actually looking like they're working as they are meant to.